Now, let's take a look at the back of the receiver. This is the same as what we have on the 100 series. Okay, so we're not missing anything on the 100 series. The, yeah, hold it up a little bit. It's a diversity receiver. All of our rack mount receivers are diversity. It's a true diversity. And when people say true diversity, they're talking about actually two separate receivers for each of the antennas. Okay, and that's a benefit because when we're looking at phase cancellation, and phase cancellation is when you're in a room, you're in a theater, and you have a signal that comes in and hits this antenna from the transmitter, but then you have another signal from that same transmitter that reflects off the wall, does a phase reverse, and hits that antenna, and it desenses the, the signal, and you get a phase cancellation, and the signal drops out. Now, if you didn't have another antenna, you would get a hit. You would get a dropout. But with another antenna, it senses, the receiver senses, this has been dropped by, a level has been dropped here, and it quickly switches over to the other antenna. And we have no dropouts because of that. And that's why we want to use diversity, and we want to use true diversity, two separate receivers, because it won't switch over to this other antenna, because it's looking at, uh, until it knows that that other antenna has a stronger signal than this one, okay, which is very important. So that if this one goes over to this one, it's, they know it's going to be a lock. If it doesn't go over to it, it only won't go over to it because it knows that this one's even worse off, which generally doesn't happen with phase cancellation. Now let's also take a look on the, on the back. Just like the 100 series, we have a 3-pin XLR output, and we also have an unbalanced uh, quarter inch coming out. And there's also a data port on there. If you look at the 100 series, there's a data port on the back of that one as well. But the data port is used on the 100 series and the 300 series for our service department. We go in, we're able to check the specs of our receiver and do some diagnostic. But also on the data port on the 300 series, this enables you to use our Net1 box. Okay, the Net1 box enables you to plug in up to 10 of these receivers into it. And then through the Net1 box, through an Ethernet cable, go to your computer and you can monitor your receiver's audio levels and your RF levels you can scan the receivers, you can change frequencies all from your computer. Okay, that's what you get when you jump into the 300 series. So let's think about that. With the 300 series, you get the rack mount. You also get the ability to do a rechargeable battery in the transmitter. You also get extra pre-programmed frequencies per bank. Okay, you also get the red LCD in the front, which I love. And then you also get the ability to work with a Net1 box so that you can monitor your receivers at all times via a computer. A very big benefit, uh, benefit, especially if you're doing uh, 8 channels, 12 channels, 16 channels. And yes, with our systems, we can do 16 channels, 20 channels easily, whether you, you're doing 100 series or 300 series. Okay. Well, I hope this was beneficial for everybody. If you need to have any other questions answered, please jump on to SennheiserUSA.com. That's the, uh, the USA site. And another great resource is the German site, which is Sennheiser.com. Just click on the British flag, and that'll change it to English, unless you speak German. 